Welcome. This video will look at managing transloading in S4 HANA transportation management as part of an international inbound scenario from Shanghai to Detroit. Before we begin, we will look at some of the benefits of using transloading. You may reduce costs by consolidating the goods into more cost-efficient load sizes. You can expedite goods faster by utilizing all available transportation options. And lastly, you may improve flexibility through reconsolidation or repacking of goods in transit. Let us explain how intermodal and transloading differ. Intermodal shipping means moving freight by two or more modes of transportation. Intermodal works like this, products are loaded into a container. The container is placed on one mode of transport. The container is later moved over to another mode of transport. Products stay in the same container for the entire haul. Transloading is very similar to intermodal shipping in that products are transferred between different modes of transportation, except that with transloading, products are moved between conveyances rather than staying in the same container the whole way. Through a scenario, we will see that transloading may involve more processing steps than pure intermodal. Actions that, to some degree, may reduce the potential benefits. Hang on, and judge for yourself. In previous videos, we have focused on the end-to-end -end process in S4 HANA transportation management. In this video, we will focus on the planning part only. We have goods that need to be moved from Shanghai to Detroit. So we will first move it by vessel from Port of Shanghai to Port of Long Beach. Then, we will transload and move the goods by rail from Port of Long Beach to the rail terminal in Chicago. The last part of the journey will be by truck, from the rail terminal to our plant in Detroit. The total quantity has been split into six freight units by weight and volume limits defined with freight unit builder rules. More information on that shortly. For the vessel transport, the six freight units are consolidated into three 40-foot containers. For the on-carriage with rail and truck, the six units are consolidated into two 53-foot containers. Let us begin by opening the transportation cockpit in S4 HANA Transportation Management. In the freight unit window, we can see that we have six unplanned freight units. They all originate from the same purchase order. We can open the purchase order by clicking on the purchase order number. It is for a large quantity of our demo material. Back in the cockpit, we take a closer look at one of the six freight units. As we scroll through the item list of the freight unit, we can see that the freight unit itself consists of several pallets of the ordered material. On the general data tab, we can see that the freight unit has been built using a specific freight unit builder rule. The total quantity of our purchase order has been split based on the volume and weight limitations set in this freight unit builder rule. Back in the cockpit once more, we can have a look at available resources for our planning, such as truck types, schedules for ocean and rail transport, and container types. Our first planning step will be to determine the route we will use to move the goods. Next, we mark our six freight units and trigger the transportation proposals. Considering available resources and schedules, TM will return a list of transportation options for each freight unit. In our case, each freight unit requires three transportation stages, ocean, rail and truck. By collapsing a proposal, we can see that the system is providing not only one but several route proposals. If we scroll down and then to the right, we can see that we have additional information for each proposal and stage, such as distance, carrier, and cost, among other things. Let us scroll back and make a choice for Transportation Proposal 1. We select it and click on the Accept Route button. Back in the Transportation Cockpit, we can see that each freight unit has now three freight unit stages, one for each of the three transportation stages needed to get the goods from Shanghai to Detroit. But, the six freight units are still in Shanghai, so we need to move on. With the route determined, we are ready to focus on the individual stages. We filter on stage 10, the ocean leg from the port of Shanghai to the port of Long Beach. The first thing we need to do is to consolidate the freight units into containers. We mark the six freight unit stages, select the smallest container in resources and click on the consolidate button. We can see that three temporary container units are created. We accept and save the result. With consolidation done, the six freight units are now spread across three container units, two in each. We switch to container unit hierarchy and scroll down. At the bottom of the list, we can recognize the three newly created container units. We expand them, one by one, and can see which freight units belong to which container. 
To create an ocean freight booking, we mark the three container units, choose optimizer planning, and select entries with all resources. In the right-hand window, we switch to ocean freight booking and save the newly created ocean freight booking. We open the ocean freight booking. On the items tab, we can see that it includes all three container units. Our planning is now complete to the port of Long Beach. However, there is no time to rest. For the two subsequent stages, we will move the goods by rail and then truck. Here we can use longer 53 foot containers and save some money. Then, to do the transload, we will consolidate the freight units for stage 20 into new container units. The system creates two new container units. We save them and can, in the overview tab at the bottom right corner, see that each container unit now contains three freight units. Since we can use the same containers for the last stage by road, we filter on the freight unit stages for the final leg. We mark three of them and assign them to one of the container units. We maximize the overview tab and see that the container units will be used for both the second and third legs. We repeat the process for the remaining three freight unit stages and assign them to the second container unit. In the overview, we can see that the second container unit also will be used for both the second and third legs. With the new containers consolidated for stage 20 and stage 30, we are ready to move on. In the freight unit stage view, we identify the unit stages for the second leg. We mark them and select the optimizer planning, then selected entries with all resources. A new rail freight order has been created. When we open the rail freight order, we can see that it includes both container units. With both the ocean freight booking and rail freight order done, the only thing left for us is to plan the road stage from Chicago to Detroit. In the freight unit stage view, we identify the unit stages for the final leg. We mark them and select the optimizer planning, then selected entries with all resources. A new road freight order has been created. When we open it, we can see that it contains the same two container units as the rail freight order. With one ocean freight booking, one rail freight order and one road freight order done, the goods should move safely from our supplier in China to Detroit. Mission accomplished. Before we close, let us have a look at one of the freight units. We pick one in the freight units overview and open it. In the map view, we can see how the freight unit will move across modes of transportation and the newly created transportation documents. The document flow shows how the freight units move between container units and transportation documents. Before we end, we will recap some of the benefits of using transloading. You may reduce costs by consolidating the goods into more cost-efficient load sizes. You can expedite goods faster by utilizing all available transportation options. And lastly, you may improve flexibility through reconsolidation or repacking of goods in transit. The views Information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.